Hey guys, good evening. This is Alejandro Narbona at your service. Thank you very much for being here. How are you doing today? How was your weekend? ¿Cómo estuvo su fin de? Tired. It was fine. <laughs> fine, tired, okay. Different perspective. Different Homesick. Perspectives. Homesick. So you're not at home? No, toxic. Oh, to <laughs> it's a yoke. <laughs> Don't worry. Yeah, I imagine. <laughs> Toxic because of family or toxic because of, you know, alcohol and party? <laughs> no, party with family. Okay. All right. So the best of both worlds. The expression, the best of both worlds, I'm going to write it down. Es como lo mejor de dos mundos. Like, for example, when you go to, uh, when you go to El Establo, you order a draft beverage, a bebida draft, <laughs> and a pizza from Pizza Nova, which is right in front. The best of both worlds. Lo yeah. mejor de dos mundos. The best of both worlds. This is an idiom. Este son idioms, guys, like saying, for example, uh, mala hierba nunca muere. Right? These are idioms. All right. So let's go ahead and start. Do you remember what was Thursday's topic? Uh, we was talking. We we, we were, were we were talking about the present perfect mm -hmm. versus past right. simple past. Correct. Excellent, Emer. Excellent. So it's gonna be simple present. Well, simple past. Simple past. Versus present perfect. present perfect. Correct. So, who is so kind, quien es tan amable, of telling me when do we use present perfect? Cuando ocupamos el present perfect? Um, when? For events between a time in the, uh, to the present. Between a time in the past to the present. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can we say that we use it for experiences? ¿Lo podemos ocupar para experiencias? No. No. Yo he viajado varias veces. That's a simple yes. part. Is that an experience? Is this an experience? Yes. 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 Uh -huh. So guys, remember, present perfect it has a lot of uses, like an action that has started in the past and may or may not continue in the future. In Spanish, una acción que empezó en el pasado y que puede o no puede continuar en el futuro. Se lo pueden memorizar así. It's a little bit more complex, I think. So remember, present perfect is about experience. He viajado, he comido pupusas con mayonesa, right? he comido atol chuco. He estado. He estado en Mariona, uh, lo que sea, <laughs> experiencias, right? Um, so remember, keep it in mind. Present perfect, comido, um, bebido, dormido, visitado, estudiado. Ese va a ser su present perfect. And when do we use, guys, um, simple past? Anybody? Simple past is when uh, event mm -hmm. uh, at uh, past. <laughs> exactly. Event in the past. Event in the past. Exactly. Now, um, can we use definite time? Can we be a specific in time using simple past? Specific. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. we can. Can yes, we use we can. a specific time with Present perfect? No. No. No, we can't. Excellent. No, so, we can't. vamos a ponerlo de esta manera, super quick, nuevamente porque a veces es muy confuso. Present perfect es para experiencias. No nos importa cuándo fueron, solo si han pasado o no. Mira, y tú ya has ido a Chalchuapa. Sí, fíjate. La verdad que sí, ya he ido y me gustaría ir de nuevo. Punto. Con esa estructura no nos interesa cuándo. Right? Sí podemos decir cuántas veces. He ido tres veces. He probado matoniños dos veces. Right? 
y ya sí vamos a decir, las dos veces me enfermé, ahí sí ocupamos simple past. Simple past es para eventos que ocurrieron en el pasado, pero una vez. Right? Es un finished action, una acción que ya pasó. Esa acción no se va a volver a repetir. Porque ese pan mataniño ya se lo comieron, ya no existe. Se pueden comer otro mataniño que seguirá siendo parte de su experiencia, pero ese ya no. Ya está masticado, digerido y procesado. Evacuado. O evacuado. Entonces, guys, present perfect experience. We don't care about time. No nos importa el tiempo. We can say how many times. Podemos decir cuántas veces ha pasado esa experiencia. Simple past. One event in the past. Sí, he viajado. He viajado a Panamá. Fui. Ahí sí viene el simple past. Fui el año pasado. Me gustó mucho. Visité Hard Rock Café. No sé, vi los buques en las esloras. What is the name of those esloras? ¿Cuál es el nombre del, del, del canal? Margarita. Canal de Panamá. Las flores. O sea, something like that. Something related to flowers, la, I think. Las flores, sí, yes, sí. Yes, yes. Again, experiencia, he ido a Panamá. Ahí muere. Tres veces. Qué chivo. Simple past. Fíjate que la primera vez me fue bien. La segunda nota y ahí ocupamos simple past. Any questions with these guys? Que ya lo vimos dos días completos, dos clases completas. Any questions? No. Speak now. Claro, o sea que si les hago un examen ahorita, ya me sacan 10. No. Obviously. Ah. Obviously. Oh, yeah. Entonces. Obviamente no. no. <laughs> Obviously, no. Obviously, right. no. <laughs> Obviously not. Obviously not. Um, practice makes perfect. Don't worry. I do not expect you to be perfect. I expect you to try and do your do your best. So let's go ahead and work on today's topic. Today's topic, it's, you know, um, here. this one right here, 4.3. 4.3. It's floating. Sequence adverbs. Mm -hmm. Sequence adverbs. Start thinking, guys. Uno de ustedes me van a hacer una maruchan, otros una pizza, otros un chori, whatever. We're going to cook. Otros me van a decir cómo se, cómo se amasan los zapatos, cómo se cambia una llanta, right? Cómo se escapa uno de los papás a medianoche, sin que se den cuenta. No, kidding, no hagan eso, chicos. Okay, very good. So let's go ahead and read after me, please. Lesson objective. Lesson objective. Lesson objective. Lesson objective. Nice. Sequence adverbs are used to help describe a procession of events. Sequence, Sequence adverbs are used, are used to describe help describe, describe, describe a procession of events. 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 Of, events. Of, of events. Of events. Of events. Right. Now, often, Often, you can pronounce it like often or often. They are both correct. Often, often. I like often more. It's up to you. Often, used in recipes or instructions. Often, often, often used in recipes, in recipes or instructions. Instruction. Instruction. What is the difference? Mm -hmm. Instruction. Go ahead. What is the difference? Yes. When what? you use instructions or no, maybe I remember the other words. Recipes? Direction. Oh, uh, it depends. Instructions, it can be directly with something in particular. For example, how to do something and directions is almost the same, <laughs> but it can be like how to get to a place. Right? Normally, generalmente cuando usted va a pedir direcciones, ahí ocupamos directions. Mira, primero doblar a la izquierda, a la derecha, ves ese palo mango, te cruzas en la calle, esas son directions, right? And instructions is, for example, when you cook something. Right? Primero, calentar agua por tres minutos, cuando esté hirviendo, abrir la tapa de la marucha, divertir el agua, esas son instructions. Aunque hay gente que las mix, las pone 
uh, los cambia, los intercambia. Podemos ocupar instructions también para cómo llegar a un lugar, pero generalmente no ocupamos directions para cómo hacer algo, solo instructions. Hay un limbo ahí. So, thank you. Thank you. directions, llegar a un lugar, instructions, how to do something, cómo hacer algo. Uh, okay. All right, so let's continue here. Sequence adverbs such as. Sequence adverbs such as. 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 Here. First. 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 Uh -huh. Fur. Fur. Here. First. Como acaban de decir. First. 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 Here. Then. 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 No es como then. de dedo. No es como den. Mm -hmm. Acá. Then. We make it vibrate. Then. 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 Mm -hmm. then. Next. Then. Next. Next. After Next. that. After that. After that. After that. After that. And finally. I'm finally. I'm finally. 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 Uh, Contain information about the order of actions. Contain information about the order of actions. Order of actions. Of actions. Of actions. Of events. Emily, yo sé que no está ahí. Of events. Of events. Of actions. Of events. Good. So, por eso es que me gusta que repitan conmigo, aunque yo no los escucho a todos. Porque cuando estamos of y viene una vocal, lo vamos a unir. Of a, of actions, of events. Ahí of los unimos. It's actions. a link between a consonant and a vowel. Good. Let's continue. And create natural transitions in writing. And create natural transitions in writing. transitions in writing. 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 That's another one. Cuando la W, cuando va la W y la R, la W no se pronuncia. Simplemente vamos con la writing. 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 Otro sería, si está mal algo, vamos a decir wrong. It's wrong. It's wrong. That's right. Esa W es un poquito muda en ese caso. In this lesson wrong. from English teacher. In this know. lesson in this from English teacher. Lesson from English teacher. Jose Science. <laughs> Jose Science. Jose Science. Practice describing recipes in English using sequence adverbs. Practice describing recipes in English using sequence adverbs. What is the meaning of recipe? Recetas. 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 Recipe. Recipe está en el chat. Recipe. 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 Very common. Is, es un recibo. When you pay something, they give the receipt. Right? So, right. la pronunciación not, es diferente. Not the bill. Recipe. Bill. The bill is before you pay it. Yeah. Ah, la cuenta. Ajá, exactly. The bill, okay. que que breve, ¿eh? Eso, that's your bill. Mm -hmm. And the recipe is, no vuelvo a venir. Right? Ya cuando ustedes han pagado. And this is the, the difference, guys. Oh, se me olvidó ponerle el stress. Receipt. Receipt. La fuerza de voz va en la I. Receipt. Receipt. Mm -hmm. So, el primero... Recipe, la fuerza va al principio, y el otro sería receipt. Recipe. Mm -hmm. and, and receive, es recibir. Receive. Recibir. Receive. Mm -hmm. Good. Little by little, guys. Recipe. 
little by little. Receive. Mm -hmm. Receive. Um, receive. So how do you say receipt? Receipt. 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 Vamos acá. Look at me. Receipt. Y ahí subimos. Receipt. 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 Y recibir. Receive. 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 Very good. That's the beauty of English. And in Spanish, is the same thing. All right. So let's go ahead and mute your mics, guys. Go ahead and write down vocabulary that is new to you. Anoten lo que sea nuevo. And please pay attention. Hello, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to describe how to prepare food using sequence adverbs. For example, you'll be able to take a recipe written on a piece of paper and be able to explain it. In order to illustrate this idea, let me play an audio program so that you can see how this topic is used. This is really easy. First, you put a little oil in a pan, then heat the oil. Next, put in the kernels and cover the pan. When the kernels start to pop, shake the pan gently every few seconds. In about a minute, the popping will slowly stop. After that, turn off the heat and pour it into a bowl. Finally, put a little salt on it and enjoy. I love this snack. First, take an avocado and mash it. Next, you chop half a tomato and half an onion and add them to the avocado. After that, you chop a little cilantro and add that in. Then, put in some lemon or lime juice. Finally, add a little salt, pepper, and of course, hot sauce. Mmm, it's great with chips. A friend from New York City taught me how to make this. First, cut it in half. Then toast it. After that, let it cool a little and then spread cream cheese on it. It's really good for breakfast, but you can eat it anytime. Now let me get started by explaining what sequence adverbs are. This topic is quite simple. Sequence adverbs are words that will allow you to explain processes to others. In this case, what we want to do is explain food recipes but you can explain any other process using sequence adverbs. So the sequence adverbs that we will cover in this lesson are first, then, next, after that, finally. Similar to the audio program, in this case we can see that there is a recipe. So on the top we see the recipe on a sheet of paper, right? We see three tablespoons peanut butter, one banana, two slices of bread, two tablespoons butter, uh, and we want that to be melted. And what we want to do is we want to be able to take this recipe and then we want to use sequence adverbs to explain it, right? And so we use the first one first, mix the peanut butter and mashed potato together. Then we use another sequence adverb, we use then lightly toast the slices of bread. Next, spread the peanut butter and banana mixture on the toast. After that, close the sandwich and put it in a pan with melted butter. And finally, fry the bread until it's brown on both sides. And what we basically did was that we organized our ideas and we explained, in this case, a food recipe. We use sequence adverbs to do this. And so as I mentioned, we use first, we use then, we use next, we use after that, and then we use finally. And um, what I would like to point out here is that all of these words are synonyms. What this means is they're the same word, right? They mean exactly the same thing. And the reason that we want to use different words is because we don't want to sound too repetitive. So for example, we don't want to express this food recipe in the following way. First, mix the peanut butter and banana together. 
then toast the slices of bread, then spread the mixture on the toast, then put the sandwich in a pan with butter, then try the sandwich until it's brown on both sides. We don't want to do that, so therefore we use different words to explain. And what I would like to point out when talking about this topic is that first should always come at the beginning whenever we want to explain some sort of process or we want to give some sort of recipe. Finally, should always come at the very end, so that should be your concluding uh, step. Then next and after that are interchangeable. This means that you can uh, start with first mix the peanut butter and banana together. Next, toast the slices of bread. After that, so they could be interchangeable. There's no rule that says that uh, then needs to come after first. You can use those three interchangeably. And the last thing that I would like for you to do is to think about your favorite food recipe. And I want you to write down all the ingredients that you're going to need. So for example, we have, in this case, three tablespoons peanut butter, one banana mash, two slices of bread, two tablespoons butter, and we want that to be melted. And then you use uh, those um, sequence adverbs in order to explain your ideas. So for example, we use first, we use then, we use next, we use after that, and we use finally. So I would like for you to do something similar, but explaining your favorite food recipe. All right, guys. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to open up the break rooms, and you're going to prepare in groups a recipe. It could be a recipe or it could be something else. Okay? Now, this is what we're going to do. I have. I think it's quite so simple. Oops, Sequence adverbs are words that will allow you to explain processes to others. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. I'm going to open up the break rooms in groups of four, and as a team, you're going to. Um, talk about the ingredients, if it's food, or the tools, if it's something else, los ingredientes o las herramientas que van a ocupar para eso, and uh, you're going to tell me how it's done using sequence adverbs. Is that clear? Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 Uh -huh. Of course, this year. No, no le creo mucho, but it, anyway. <laughs> so, um, sequence adverbs are going to express that a sequence, right? Cuando se bañan, ¿qué hacen primero? Se, se desvisten o se meten al, al, a la regadera, así nomás. En todo el pijama. Vestir. Um, undress. Obviously, you get undressed, right? Se meten vestidos y andan algo pacheco. <laughs> Pero de lo contrario, casi todo tiene una secuencia normal. So, that's what we're going to do. First, you use it once. That's it. First is primero, and you always use first. Then, finally, is the last one. Finally, is el último. Then, next, after that, I'm going to give you a few more. Um, afterwards, um, later, right after. Esos tres más. Then, oops, then, next. After that, todos esos son intercambiables. Y no importa si ustedes pueden afterward, or later, or right after, no importa. ¿Ok? Eso ustedes los pueden mixear para que no se escuche monótono. Then, 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 then. Any questions? No. 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 Uh, no. Mm -hmm. Okay, so guys, let's go ahead and accept the, I'm going to send this to the to the group anyways, just for you to have it. Voy a ver los grupos. Le van a tocar según el número que me digan. Hay cosas de cocina. Hay cosas como cambiar una llanta, por ejemplo. Pero teacher, yo no sé. Búsquenlo, para eso están trabajando en grupo y tienen internet, si no, no estuvieran conectados. All right, so let's go ahead and accept the break room, accept the invite, and work as a team. Después me lo van a exponer, así que turkey face on this one. Ya lo visito para decirles qué va a ser lo que van a hacer.
Hey, Stanley, can you hear me? All right. Ah, the teacher so, is here. I'm here. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I wanted to give me a number from one to four. Who? Anybody. One. One. Okay. So you got Mariscada. Mariscada. <laughs> yes. So you're going to tell me. Complicate. What, hell yeah. Le iba a poner hamburguesa and easier things, but matanillo, but no. Difficult things. So I wanted to please mention the ingredients. Okay. Also okay. the utensils. If you need a pot, if you need a spoon, etc. And then the steps to follow. Got it? You're going to have 15 minutes. No more than that. Hey. Any questions? No. I don't know how can I say mariscada. Um, it doesn't really exist in English. Uh, seafood cream, perhaps? Crema de mariscos? Uh, but I don't know how, how can I cook. Internet, girl. <laughs> Internet. So I got Noemi, Benja, para que no me salgan ahí. Luis and uh, Yader. Okay? Get ready to work, guys. Okay. See you in 15. Okay. Okay. Good luck. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Hey, what's up, guys? Now, um, give me a number. Two, three, or four. <laughs> uh -huh. Dele, que todas están yucas. They are all difficult. Uh, four. Four. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Can you explain uh, to me how to change a flat tire. How a what? A flat tire. Una llanta. ¿Cómo cambiar una llanta pacha? Ah, okay. Ah. Now. <laughs> so, you're going to tell me what are the tools. Quiero que me hagan una lista de las herramientas, me las van a mencionar. And then you go step by step. Okay? Be as specific as you can. Es que está chiche. Lo que pasa es que si ustedes nunca la han cambiado, pues ahí es otra historia. How to change a flat tire. God bless you. See you in 15 minutes. ¿Vos está embarazada? Oh, pregnant? All right. So, guys, give me a number. Two or three. Uh, three. 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 Okay. Three. Three. You got sushi. Uh, so you're going to prepare okay, sushi. Teacher. Uh, tell me what the ingredients are. So mention the ingredients. Mention the utensils. And then step by step. You got 15 minutes. Any questions? No. Goodbye. Okay. Guys, what's up? Now. No. No, we're, no, come on. You were the last nice. one. Fueron los okay. últimos, así que no, you don't get to choose. No van a escoger ustedes. Guys, <laughs> you're going to make sopa de pata. What? <laughs> yep. Sopa, sopa de, pata de pata. That's what you're going to prepare. So I need you to tell me the utensils. Utensilios. I need you to tell me the ingredients and then the steps. All right? Utensils, ingredients, steps. Any questions? Okay. ¿Alguna pregunta? No. Uh, no. no. <laughs> right now, no. Because okay. I, I was thinking. You I got, am thinking. You got 15 minutes. If you don't know how to do it, <laughs> Okay. Thank you. I, Goodbye. I, we tried. <laughs> <laughs> I know you will. Okay. So far, the... Okay. Uh, the, uh, describe uh, the, the ingredients.
O sea, algo así. ¿eh? ¿Qué es eso? Eh, se consomé. No, maybe a tablespoon. A tablespoon of, of I don't know, consomé. <laughs> Podría ser a tablespoon shrimp flavor. On demand. Seasoning. How do you write? Uh, Either or condiment. condiment or seasoning. Oh, thank Use you. Use lingui. El diccionario que yo ocupo. La verdad les da contexto. So, lingui. Okay. Um, water, cream. In my recipe, I put uh, milk. A quarter of milk, too. Okay. Okay, Angela. And I think we have all the ingredients. Huh? I put um, and I <laughs> apio. I don't remember. Apio. Se. Celery. Celery. Mm -hmm. Celery. If you don't remember anything, Google it or help each other. Okay. Okay, a tablespoon of celery. And salt and maybe, pepper. Maybe uh, we have the all ingredients. The other part maybe is the utensilios. The utensils. Utensils. Mm -hmm. Utensils. Okay. Continue. Utensils. Let me check another group. You're doing good. If you have a question, help each other or lingui. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Este evidentemente estacionado. Luego quitar la llanta, ¿verdad? Ay, pero ahí sí alguien que lo haya hecho para pues, que me vaya dictando más o menos a la realidad. Ay, la primera aflojar las tuercas. Aflojar las tuercas. No sería después. Ajá. Pero es que antes de meter la, la, eh, la mica en español, este, aflojar las tuercas. <ríe> Hidráulica. Aflojar las. Ajá, ah, so just Jack. The Jack. Ah, the Jack. Hey, girls. Um, what do you do when there's something you don't know? You Google it, right? Google. Come on, Google it, girls. You have a good tool right there. If you have never done it, how to change a flat tire. Look at the images. Okay. <laughs> you got like six minutes. Hurry up. Eh, chicas, ya tengo a los gatas tuercas de la llanta para cambiarla, ¿verdad? How do you say that in English? Ah, oh. Then, then block, block, no. Not <laughs> Not bien. Loosen the lug nuts. After her, las tuercas. Loosen. Loosen. Loosen lug nuts. Loosen the lug lug nuts. The lug chains. Nuts. Two chains. I don't know. That's all. All right. Continue. But remember, first, uh, then, right after. And mention Loosen also nuts. the the tools that you're going to use. You're going to use a jack, you're going to use a lug nut wrench, etc. Continue. Goodbye. English girl, come on.
place the jack under the car? Porque para decir todo eso, que la textura y no sé qué. Beautiful. Spot. Ah, no, claro. <laughs> ah, no, claro, pero podemos decir eh, mix de mix the rice vinegar and sugar in a small in a small bowl and then mix with the rice. So mix mix into the rice. Into the rice. Okay, eh, es, ajá, entonces podemos ocupar qué palabra podemos ocupar nets ocupemos okay nets ajá, nets ajá, y ajá, after that nets. after that ajá mix the imitation ah mix the imitation creep ajá, mix mix the imitation uh, crab meat. The imitation. Crab, crab meat with mayonnaise. With mayonnaise. No, but the imitation crab meat with. Uh, no, mix the imitation crab crab meat. Vamos a ver the roll, the sushi, cover a bamboo rolling. Uh huh. Mm. And so uh, next, mix the imitation crab crab meat with mayonnaise. Vamos a ver. With, with mayo no, in a bowl. No. Ajá, lo vamos verdad, a ver. Lo que pasa es que después dice, sí. después, dice, dice así, uh, mezclar la imitación de cangrejo con mayonesa en un plato, en un bowl. Yo había encontrado trip o tripe. Uh -huh. Ok. You can, you can use belly too. A la tripa. Ah, belly. Sí. Belly, panza. Yeah, belly. Okay. Normally, uh, for belly. example, in cooking, there's something called pork belly. Como la tripa del okay. cuche, ¿verdad? So you, it's you called say it belly. belly. I don't really know how to say it, so keep it in belly. Okay. Vientre. Okay. Okay. Make a make the step. Make a soup. First, make yeah. a soup. <laughs> first, first, uh, first. Uh -huh. put, a, put a bit less in a large pond. No, yeah. no for me, it's a cut, cut yeah. the the vegetable. Cut the the vegetable. Ah, okay. Cut the vegetable. Uh -huh. Pero primero tenían que poner a cocinar, a ablandar lo que es la carne. La pata. ¿Mm? Primero tienen que poner en el agua la carne a cocer para que, se, para que esté blando. Six, six minutes. Sí. No, fish good sí, de, por... de leer. Como ah, tener las yeah. patas de rey uh -huh. en una olla grande junto con los dientes de ajo aplastados, <risa> la cebolla colorada picada, las ramitas de cilantro y perejil, una pizca de comino. Ok. Like my grandma. <risa> That's a big step. <risa> yeah. <risa> Don't worry, you got five minutes. Goodbye. Ok, first uh, we take a cooking pot and put under uh, the um, large beef leg and belly. Yes? Good, good. No, put. Okay, uh, put. Water on, what? The, on the cooking put. And now pour water in, in the pot. In the pot, in the pot, uh -huh. Uh, uh -huh. with a uh, large beef leg and belly. Uh -huh. Estaba diciendo Omi que, que pusiéramos a, a cocer eso antes. And belly, va. Belly. Okay, seco. Uh, after that? After that, then, the, cut the, after that, the vegetable. Uh -huh the vegetable okay 
Esta sopa va a salir horrible, pero bueno. <risa> then, um, then, then uh, put you the vegetable in. Mix. Uh, 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 um. ¿Qué más íbamos a cambiar? How you doing, guys? Good. Okay. <laughs> We try to write the the different sequences of the recipe. There you go. Practice. You got two minutes. Who's gonna say what? Me no. Not me. You all gotta participate. Not me. <laughs> <laughs> Not me. <laughs> ¿Qué mal íbamos a cambiar? Mm -hmm. I am in the second line. In the second line. Yes, I first cut the vegetable. Then put a quarter of tablespoon oil in the pot and fry the garlic, celery, tomato, Onion. Onion. Um. Chili verde. Next. Green pepper. Green pepper, yes, green pepper. Next, put the trip and free trip and Ready, thank you very much for coming back. Was it difficult to you? Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We yeah, no made at the best we sopa de vaca. We, we, were <laughs> we were cooking our sushi. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So guys, um, piece of cake. We're gonna start right now. And the recommendation is the following. I know it's not easy because of vocabulary, right? <laughs> so, yes. If you don't do it perfect, relax the keto guys. Relax. I'm not asking you <laughs> okay. to be perfect. I ask you to do your best, and that's what you did. So recipe number one. Mariscada, Noemi, Benja, Luis, and Yader. You all have to practice. Todos tienen que decir algo. Okay. Go. First, we say the ingredients. Mm -hmm. We need uh, one pound of shrimp. Shrimp? Shrimp. Uh -huh, uh, plural. Shrimps. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay, half pound small shrimps. Uh, one pound crabs. Mm -hmm. One pound fish. One pound of fish. One pound of fish. Mm -hmm. uh, one finely chopped tomato. A half onion, mm -hmm. two cloves of garlic finely chopped, a quarter of cream, 
one oh. green pepper. Okay. Uh, to taste coriander and celery. Uh huh. Quarter of butter of margarine. Okay. And two sachets small of shrimp consomme. Two. two. Sachets small Sachet. shrimp. I don't know if the correct. Uh -huh. Sobrecitos. You... Sobrecitos de consomme. Uh -huh. Oh, packages. You can you can say seasoning. Seasoning. Seasoning or condiments. That's fine. Okay. Like fish, seasoning, fish, condiments. Okay? Okay, those are the ingredients. What about the steps? Good job. I, I list to the utensils. The utensils, nice. The utensils. Cooking pot, mm -hmm. one spoon, one knife, cutting bar, and a stove, and plate to eat. Okay. The sequence of cook is first of in the cooking. Uh -huh. uh, cooking in the pot. Fry the garlic, tomato, and onion in the butter. Add the crab, then the shrimp, then add the broth along with the fish, uh -huh. coriander, and celery. Then, when we boil our soup, uh -huh. we add the cream. We give it two more minutes of boiling, and that is finally for the brute. In water, we will dissolve the sheep soap. If we want our soap to spice, we can add flour. Okay, all right, good, good job. Was it difficult? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Because <laughs> <laughs> we yeah. don't cook. <laughs> yeah. No, but you did a good job. All right. And uh, good job, guys. Number two, Sopepata. Romulo, My Olga, goodness. Imer, Omi. Go. Okay. I tell 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 the the ingredients. Um a pound belly, uh -huh. pepper, anato, corn, anato. Uh -huh. yuca, <laughs> manioc. <laughs> huh? Ma manioc is yuca. Ah, okay. Manioc. Mm -hmm. Water and salt. Nice. Continue, guys. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> Thank you. The utensils. Utensils. Utensils are a, a pot, a cooking pot, uh -huh. a spoon, a big spoon, a cucharón. Uh, a... Continue. I'll, I'll tell you. It's a ladder. Give me a second. Knife. Ladder. Knife. Uh -huh. For the cut. Uh, bowls. Okay. Uh, cutting board. Cutting board. Cutting board and the uh, oven. Uh huh. All right. Okay. Next. Laro. Laro is cucharón. Ah, laro. Laro, like this. In the chat. Mm -hmm. Laro. Yeah. Hello. Uh, the process and uh -huh. the recipe, recipe. The recipe, correct. Uh, put the beef leg in the large um, mm -hmm. pot with the crushed garlic. With the, uh, uh -huh. with the crushed or the minced garlic, okay. And the crushed uh, onion. Mm -hmm. uh, Beer a uh, boil and um, cooking uh, five hours. The layer cook. Cook it for five hours. Yes. <clears throat> okay. And then um, bring to a bowl. Um, 
reduce heat and swimmer for three hours. Mm -hmm. Another fast induction is to cook the lead in the pressure cooker for about 45 to 50 minutes. Mm -hmm. Add the yuca. Manioc. Ma and, uh, How do you write? Manioc, like it says M A N I L C. Manioc. Manioc. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Good until the man uh, manioc and beef left are soft about 20 to 30 minutes removed from the heat and carefully did the broth and save it for later. Mm -hmm. You can remove a little of a uh, fat and save it for the, for the re, 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 rehash remove for the, for the rehash what's that rehash okay remove the street from the cas the cassava and chop it into medium pieces 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 right pieces. Pieces. Uh -huh. pieces remove the bones from the lead and cut the remaining meat into small pieces small pieces Small pieces. Prepare a rehash for the broth using a couple tablespoons until let broth fat. Uh, heat the fat over medium heat in a okay. soup pot. Add the chopped white onion, crushed garlic, oregano, and nut and nato. Oregano, oregano, give me a second. That's another one that I don't normally. Ah, but continue, continue. This is this is me learning vocabulary. Okay, oregano go. is oregano. No. Oregano, anero, anaro, anaro, cumin, salt, and, pe and pe pepper. Okay. That's it. Okay, great. But man, that was a very long recipe. <laughs> Jessica, yes. five hours cooking. <laughs> All right, great, great. There we go. Now we go with sushi. Rodolfo, David, Gavi, Stanley, go. Okay. Um, David. Let me start. Let me start. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, okay, we're gonna to. We're going to prepare California roll sushi tonight. Okay, nice. We're going to prepare. Okay. Yeah, we're going to prepare California sushi roll. Uh, first, the ingredients. We need one cup of cooked short grain white rice, a cup of water, a, a quarter of cup rice vinegar, mm -hmm. one tablespoon of white sugar, Half cup imitation crab meat, mm -hmm. uh, chopped. Uh, let me check what else I lost the recipe. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, a quarter of cup mayonnaise, uh, eight sheets of nori or dry seaweed, mm -hmm. two and a half tablespoon of sesame seed. One cucumber cut into thin pears and two avocados. Nice. It's a nice, the long way. Nice. Good. Pausa. Pause. Um, it is 10.01. For the ones that have responsibilities and you haven't participated, you can leave. Los que, no tienen, los que tienen responsabilidad ya se pueden retirar. Pero si se quieren echar estas deliciosas recetas aquí con cocinando con inglés corporativo, you can stay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Continue. Los okay. que no han pasado no se me mensaje. Continue. And next. Mm -hmm. uh, first, we we have to cook the rice for 15 minutes. Uh -huh. 15 minutes. Then mix the rice with vinegar and sugar in a small bowl. Good. Um, sorry? No, no, good. Continue. Okay, okay. Uh, next, the imitation cream with mayonnaise in a bowl. 
after that carefully flip the notice sheet over a bamboo rolling mat. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, Gabby. Then place long cucumber spears in slice of uh, avocado. Mm -hmm. mm. Uh, right after, pick up the edge of the bamboo rolling sheet, mm -hmm. fold the bottom edge of the sheet up, closing the filling and tiggly roll. And finally, cut each roll into one each piece with a very sharp knife deep in water. Okay. And that's it. Okay. <laughs> good, good. Congratulations. There we go. Um, todo el mundo nos echamos ahí como se estaban poniendo de acuerdo. Okay, yo línea 5, 6, aquí estamos todos. But anyways, that's good. And the last one, this is not about food, but this can save you, this can save your life. Right? So, Carla, Erika, Laura, and Tatiana, how to change a flat tire? Go, girl. Okay. 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 Um, the tools that we need, that we need um, are a jack, a cross key, and a spare tire. And a what? A spare. A uh, spare tire. A spare tire. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Also, the cross key. Creo que lo buscaron en Google, vea. Eso, eso es de <laughs> log wrench. Ajá. Google no es a veces buen amigo. Mejor. How do you English. say? Log wrench. Log. Okay. Wrench. But don't worry about it. That's Long cool. wrench. Todos okay. han tenido así cositas que mm, no es eso, pero van bien. Ajá. Okay. <laughs> Um, first, put the car on a safe place. Uh -huh. um, then, put the jack under the car. Uh -huh. Next, um, loosen the nuts and take off the tire. Okay, and take out the tire. Uh -huh. um, after that, put the new tire and the nuts. Uh -huh. Finally, take out, take out the jack. And let's go to the room. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Carla. What about Erika, Tatiana, and where is the other one? Noemi. Ah, no, Laura. Bueno, Laura. Oh, uh -huh. I am. Listen, no. Uh, but but not completely to remove them. O sea, it's only uh, uh, ¿cómo se dice? Un giro. It's only. Un giro, ¿cómo se dice? A twist. A twist, a twist. Mm -hmm. of the nuts mm -hmm. before you produce the jack. Uh -huh. Then uh, you can put the jack and stand up, um, levantar. Rise it. Rise it. Rise it. Uh -huh. uh, later you can... Uh, hmm? ¿cómo se dice? Okay, continue. Uh -huh. Loosen. Uh -huh. That's right. That All right, guys. I know this is not easy, and uh, the steps are quite easy. First, next, then. But what you need is vocabulary. So, como pudieron ver, el vocabulario es lo que nos ayuda. Y todo el, todos nos podemos sentir incómodos con algo que yo nunca he hecho sopa de pata, obviamente. Hay vocabulario que no lo voy a conocer porque no es parte de mi vida. Pero así es como nosotros nos vamos exponiendo el idioma. Y si se fijan, quizás cuando no sabemos es cuando más le ponemos énfasis. Así que espero que hayan, aparte de los sequence adverbs, espero que hayan aprendido nuevo vocabulario. Ok. So, guys, thank you very much for giving me these extra six minutes of your time. Get out of here. See you tomorrow. Great job. Nice. Good night. Bye-bye. Nice.